Okay, so I just didn't really feel like going home just yet, and um, the Omni was just like on my walk home. So I just stopped and I got like a glass of Pinot Grigio, but um, I don't know. I was really thinking about Renee's video from earlier today, and it was just like, it was so problematic to me. I'm sorry, it just was, because she was like so butthurt about like, it made sense. It, 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 it kind of went back to this theme of like, why is it that like all of the problems fall on like one particular subgroup? You know, like it can't, it can't ever be the case that like one group gets all of the bad stuff. But I swear, like it really, like when you listen to what she was saying, it was like very clear. She was like literally describing and giving these examples of like, it wasn't just one person. It's like multiple people who like made the experience bad for her. And then she's like, nobody acknowledged it and no one apologized. And that's another thing I continue to say. Like that's really hard when an entire community like gaslights a bad experience that you have. And like, no one is there being like, oh, I understand, I empathize. Like that was wrong. And she was like talking about that and like, it really hit me in this way of like i saw her but then she kept saying like in this story too she kept saying like other people i see this a lot from like other black women but nobody talks about it but she's sitting here talking about it like she doesn't see that she's somebody you know what i'm saying like that doesn't actually make any sense like she's, she's sitting there saying it. Like if she's sitting there saying it, how is she pretending like she's not somebody? That doesn't make sense. All of it is just so frustrating. Like it cannot just be me. Like you guys must feel me on this. Seriously, like it was every single thing she said. I've, n I know I've chatted about this before. And then the super frustrating thing to me, so as I'm walking home, um, I passed Nissan Stadium, right? And now there's some artist represented by Yo Gotti, and he's like performing at Nissan Stadium. And like performing at Nissan Stadium is kind of like a big deal. And I'm like, I've never even heard of this person before, but clearly like a lot of people have, cause like a lot of people are like showing up to see him or whatever. And that's when it was like very clear to me, like, our society is just divided, bro. Cause like, I mean, people are super familiar with this artist. I've never heard of this person a day in my life. Like, I have no fucking idea who this is at all. <laughs> and then it was like the same type of person was the concert goer. It's like the black chick with the weave and the like shorty shorts. The whole place smelled like marijuana. It was like, we know who these girls are. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that like, I understand if you weren't a part of like, if you weren't living in like a Manhattan, a San Francisco or somewhere, you would really think like all black people are like this <laughs> because there's like a, such a large swath of them and they even have like musicians and representatives and stuff. They have normalized that behavior. That is normal for them. I'm not really saying it's bad or good. I'm just saying like, whatever they represent, they don't represent me, but I feel like I've been saying that, right? Just like so much, like in a very serious way, those people don't represent me. It's just frustrating and I cannot be the only person who's sitting here frustrated. And I don't feel like I need a, a ribbledy rap to like say that. Like, I think it's more than fair for me to just be like, here's my thought, okay? <laughs> like me having a thought, me titling a video as that thought and then sharing that video and my thought and that being You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on. 